Well, hello, my friends. Bruce here. Well, this one uh, is owned by a close friend. She actually visited us when we were in Mexico. And uh, she was kind enough to give us a ride home from the airport when we got home. And then she had to redo her two-week isolation just because she gave us a ride home from the airport. Isn't that nice of her? So anyway, she's asked me to have a look at her lawnmower. Uh, she says it needs a tune-up. Um, that's all I know. But I did notice, and I wiped one up yesterday, and then there's a fresh one. It's marking its territory. And she says that it smokes. So, I just have a hunch that it might be over full of oil. I hope. And, uh, I don't really feel like changing seals, but we will if we have to. So let's just, uh, put you up on the chair. And we'll check the oil. I just have a feeling it's full. No, it isn't. It's low. <laughs> okay. So we're going to... What do we do here now? Do we uh, put it on the stand right away? I think so. It's throwing oil, it's not leaking oil. So now come with me. We'll turn on the bright lights. Camera action. So look at this side over here. It's completely it's completely scooshed with oil here. That's a that's a new word, eh? Look at that. So let's we'll have to investigate that, eh? That's more important than the tune up. Let's get a light. See where this oil is coming from. I don't really know. It is leaking though. Air filter's fair. Be right with you guys. I wonder if it's just the bone. No, I think the oil. Okay, if you look here, I don't know if we can do this together or not. Uh, nothing's easy. <laughs> okay. The oil that's coming into here. I think it's coming through that hole right there. So the oil is coming down through the frame. So it's going to be hard to tell. Oh, there we go. So we have to do a little bit more investigative work. I don't think it's a head gasket. Nope. I'm going to take it out onto the apron and blow it off and we'll see where this oil is coming from. Let's take the top off. We'll close the door so you can see. Five sixteenths, there we go. We'll get my favorite tool. I could use three more of these. I put one on my Amazon wish list for my dear wife when my birthday comes. Got gas. So what we'll do, as soon as we get that tank off of there, we'll dump that fuel out of there. It's going to be old fuel anyway, right? Okay. Let's do this. I'm going to clean it up later. I really want to find this oil leak. Come on, baby. I think we're going to turn the 
turn the whole unit around so I can stand in front of the camera. Nah. Okay, let's drain the fuel. These hold a lot of fuel, these old Tecumseys. And I like Tecumseh. Good. I think I'm gonna just disconnect it. There we go. Now, before we get silly, I haven't even started it, you know that? <laughs> I should probably try and start it. So let's just I got some new ones. Let's just put a clamp on this. Uh... Pipe and we'll just try and start it up. It should start. Just don't forget. There's still gas in the. There's still gas in the hole of the carburetor. Eh? It should fire now. That's all we need. Now I'm going to just check the blade to see if it's been if it's hit something, and potentially the timing might be off. Nope. So why is it throwing oil? Okay, I'm going to turn you off, take it out onto the apron, blow it down, just blow the garbage off of it. And uh, we'll come back. I'm just wondering if it's throwing oil out of somewhere that I can't see. Eh? Be right back. Alrighty, let's get this cover off the top of this. oil all over my, or oily grass all over my coat. It looks a lot better, but it's still gooky. Gloves. Okay. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I'm just looking. I don't know why there's oil all over the main body. Hmm. Okay. Not that wet here, but down here it is. That's weird. Something's not right. It's reading low on the dipstick, but it's full, full of oil. So something's just not jiving here. So I'm gonna come back in a bit, guys. All right, I am going to um, turn this light on too. I'm going to just check the flywheel key to see if it's off time. It just felt a little funny when I pulled it. I don't think so. You know what it is a little bit. I think it's off just a hair. I'll show you that if I can. It might make a difference. Yep. 
You see that? It's just kind of kinked. Mm, that's hard to point out. Uh, here we go. Let's get some bright light in there. Please forgive me. Sorry, I apologize so much. Okay, now. You see right there, there's a tiny, tiny little gap right there. I'm going to try a different angle. <laughs> okay. There we go. Right there. I'm going to change that flywheel key. I think that's part of our problem. So which way do we do this? Do we use the impact? Do we use a hammer and a hammer and a lever? We'll try this. We'll try the impact first. If I can get, I can get a flat lift on it. I like that. That's the side of the. Okay, let's go. We gotta plug it in though. I'm gonna use my uh, airline supply for the uh, air gun. Not quite. Nothing's easy. I'm going to take that uh, coil right off. Maybe I can get at it from the beginning, from the, from the front. This one's on there. I've done this before. <laughs> do, 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 do. Slightly bigger ball peen hammer and a lever. Oh, it's on there, baby. Better put that nut on there just to protect the threads. So far, it's just been wood, right? I'm going to tap it right on the metal now. There it is. Holy macaroni! Now, the big thing, the big reveal. Doesn't want to come off either. No, it wasn't. It just wasn't put in. Well, I'm going to change it to a new one. I don't think it's, oh yes, here we go. Holy macaroni. I'll be right back. All right, this isn't much, this isn't much of a mark.
But right there, you can see it's been, it's just in the corner on, on the lip. Well, it's hard to tell. Oh, there we go. But I am going to stick in a new one. Just wasn't sitting in there right, eh? I'm going to put in a brand new one. Right out of the package. There, that's how that one's sitting. It even looks better already, doesn't it? Before, I know it's all very minute, but it takes nothing for an engine to run poorly. Before, there was a gap right in that corner, like it had been just tweaked a bit, eh? So that's interesting. I'm just going to pop that flywheel back on there. There's no oil up on top here. There we go. So, I'll come back when I got it all. I just have to put the cup back on top. The cup, the cup. My kingdom for the cup. Here we are. Good. Let's take that out. I don't know if that's going to solve our problem. Okay, let's just take a break now. Well, I've decided to take the carburetor off just to make sure there's nothing, there's nothing in the uh, intake. I've been fooled a couple of times on these Tecumseh's, so I'm just, I've got the screws taken off. I've got the muffler off. I'm just going to tap this and it should fall. There. And uh, we'll just be super, super careful here. Good. Save the gasket. Good. Now we might as well find that bolt before we carry on. There it is. Something's not right, eh? So we're just following the problem. Alright guys, are we, yeah we're recording. I cleaned the plug, it cleaned up really well. There's not a lot of hours on this machine. I think the oil is all coming out of the dipstick hole. When I put this back on, uh, it, it seemed to push down a little bit further and then I tightened it up. Because it's, I, I checked the whole thing over and there's no oil coming out of any of the seals or anything like that. So uh, anyway, we'll um, put her on the ground and start it up but first I'm going uh, and we want to change the oil too eh? yes I guess I should do it the safe way I was going to start it on the stand but the safety sallies will get me be right back okay let's go let's give her a go Ouch. Everything feels good on it now. I had a little trouble assembling the flywheel and it was something must have got bent because it was touching that little brake that stops the engine when it, when you let go of the release lever. So let's just give her a couple of squirts. And the tug. Let's see if it's 
starts again. So now all that's left is I gotta change the oil and sharpen the blade. 